Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the flash sessions. So these are some key points that we are uh, going to study in this video. So first of all we will learn some theoretical part about the flash session within 20 or 30 seconds. Then we have to make a view controller, uh, then we have to make a form inside the view, then we have to make a controller and we have to uh, make the router for both of them and at the last we will write the code for flash. Guys, if you are a very new in the Laravel and you don't know about how to create a view, route and uh, controller, then you can watch your previous video. A full link uh, list of these video is given in the description box. You can open it and check it out. All right. So now let's start with this video. So what is the flash session? So flash session are a kind of sessions that will only show at a one time. All right. When you just uh, put data inside the flash session and you just display it it will show one time after that they are going to flash from uh, the session and there is nothing inside the flash array all right and uh, where they are very useful when you just submit the form and you have to display the message one time your data is successfully submitted then they are very useful all right so now let's uh, uh, go with the second point so uh, now we have to make a form and for the form we have to go inside the resource views and user.blade.php here i just write here some code so just write here flash session all right and just make a form here so with the form action i will tell you whenever i'm just going to make the router because the router path we have to uh, mention here and i'm just going to make a post here and now i'm just going to make a one field i don't want to put up many fields here so that a video can be completed uh, soon so i'm just going to uh, use here uh, name is user all right and uh, just make a button submit button uh, submit data and it should be a type of submit and after that we have to use a csrf token why we have to use a CSRF token? I already told in the previous video. If you want to go in um, more detail, then you have to watch it. All right. So this form is ready now. So after that, I need to make a controller. So for the controller, I'm just going to go inside the command prompt and let's make a, a controller. First of all, just uh, write here PHP artisan make controller name make controller and controller name is users all right and just hit the enter now this is created here as you can see inside the app http controller and users all right here i'm just going to make a function with the submit or whatever you want to put here just write here kind of request and it will be the dollar r eq and uh, i'm just going to print out first of all by data is coming from the form or not for that i'm just going to write here request input all right so this is ready for now and uh, after that uh, we have to make the two routers for that i'm just going to inside the routers folder and web.php so i'm just going to mention a first route for form and i'm just going to put the name also form so that it can be similar and user which, which is my view name and uh, the second route will be a post because we have to send the data in the post uh, from the form and uh, submit is the request name and I'm just going to use here the full path of the function users with submit all right so everything is ready now so now I have to just pass here submit inside the router so now let's check first of all our form for that i have to just uh, okay so maybe there is some issue 
so let me check first of all inside the web.php uh, yep I have to define here view because we are calling the view here alright so now let's check okay so just going to write here form and now I have a field here so in the field I'm just going to put the name like Peter and going to submit here you can see that we have the username Peter with the token alright token coming from the CSRF now uh, let's start the code with the flash and uh, for that I have to go inside the submit function so I'm just going to simply write here dollar request session this is also a function and use your flash inside the flash first parameter for the name of the data name of the, uh, the session name let's say I want to put the the data here and in the second parameter I'm just going to write here data is submitted successfully All right and just put the uh, semicolon at the last All right so after that we have to redirect it and for the redirect I have to return on redirect and here I have to put the file name where I want to redirect so uh, this is the on the welcome.php which is the this root and here we have to open the welcome.php and here I am just going to take a h1 tag here just take double curly brackets and I am just going to show you my this message in my that screen on my welcome screen alright so just going to write here session and uh, get and I put uh, given define my name of session is data so you simply data here and now let's uh, check it now you can see that we got the data here and, uh, and now at the second time whenever I'm just going to submit it this data is gonna flash so let's try once again so just put here Peter and we got the data here and it will be flashed here so this is all about the flash then if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video